Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. Well, happy Mother's Day, by the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, well, in Korea, we have Parents' Day, right? But in America, they have Mother's Day and Father's Day, so... Yeah. Yeah, our parents, we thank them, right? Because they gave us lives. They gave birth to us and they gave us money, food, shelter, education, investment, love, affection, wisdom, guidance, everything, right? So, yeah, we do thank our parents. Okay, so. Uh, so. Yesterday, I, I got really drunk, right? Oh, because this spring uh, birch tree leaves, it was just so good, okay? I just kept on drinking, drinking. But this morning, right now it's like 8 o'clock, Saturday morning. But this morning, I woke up like 5 o'clock because uh, I wasn't sleepy. So, when you are not sleepy, it means you had enough sleep. So, you should do something, right? So, what did I do? Uh, I cooked last week. Um, I cooked. Can I erase this? I will. I, I it's failed attempts. So. Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, I rewrite it. We need whiteboard, okay? So. Last week I cooked some uh, beef with all the vegetables and beef and the fat oil from beef is like wax. It's very difficult to erase, wash off, right? So that's why you should not eat beef too often, okay? Because beef fat is like wax. It's extremely, it's the kind of fat, oil that is very difficult to wash off so i have to skim all, skim all that beef like floating on top of water because i put it in the fridge you know <sighs> it took me hours and hours to do that so i cooked quite a bit last weekend so i just boiled them in the water you know and uh and i prepared all the food and then I put it in the refrigerator, I mean the freezer. It took me hours and hours and all oh, this cleaning the dishes and stuff. Oh my goodness, it was long and hard labor this morning. And I'm sober, I, I didn't drink, no. I only drink here in front of camera. Why? Uh, my goal is not about corrupting the minds of the youth. No, that's not what I'm doing. Um, that's not our goal. We want to educate people, but why do I drink? Am I teaching people how to drink properly? Uh, yeah, sure, but that's not the reason. I, I drink when I enjoy, okay, and I enjoy doing this YouTube series, so yeah, that's why I drink, okay, so, and, yeah, I'm, I'm sober because I didn't drink this morning, not yet, uh, it, it was work and work and work for three hours, preparing food, basically, right, skimming off all that waxy fat, because when I cook meat, I boil them in water, so, the fat boils, bubbles up and, and then I put it in the fridge so I have to skim it all off <sighs> cut the meat put vegetable and rice in plastic containers and I freeze them right oh and that, that took me a long long time oh boy wow but I, I did eat breakfast okay while I was preparing the meal and 
Yeah, it, it took me a long time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are doing some combinatorics, right? Counting. That's what combinatorics is about. We are exploring uh, how many ways are there to express a composite number in terms of multiplication. All right? How many ways are there to express a composite number in terms of product of two numbers or three numbers or n numbers? Okay? So, when this composite number is pure composite, meaning when you do the prime factorization, they are all primes, only once, one, one occurrence, but it's not repeating. Yeah, uh, Lu Zhang and some others, yeah, they did study some of this, so uh, we'll go ahead and study this, okay? Yeah, so it's not too new, new theory, it's, um, but we don't really care whether other people studied this or not. We study it on our own. Why? Because it's more fun that way. It may take longer, okay, but it's more exciting. Okay? Yeah. We're gonna do our own things, okay? So, and we give it our own name, right? So, 30 is a composite number, but it's a pure composite number, all right? But 60 is impure composite because you have rep, uh, repeating occurrence of a prime or well, 180, also impure composite because you have repeating occurrence of primes when you do prime factorization. Okay, so that's what we mean by pure composite and impure composites. Okay? Maybe they, other mathematicians, they have different name for this. We don't care, all right? We don't care what kind of language that they use, all right? Whatever. But they named this already? So what? We'll just rename it. Okay. <laughs> Do they have already notation or convention? So what? We'll reinvent the wheel and we'll put it our own names, our own notation or convention. Okay, we'll do our own things. Alright? We don't care what they did. Okay. We appreciate what they did, and we thank them. They're kind of metaphysical parents, right? Met other mathematicians, I mean. But uh, at the same time, we grew up, so it's time that we become more independent mathematicians, okay? All those people who go to go and get PhDs, MDs, or those advanced degrees, JDs, MBAs, eh? Most of them, they're like herds, herd mentality. Just join the herd, jump in the bandwagon, join the mainstream, majoritarian view. Why? Because they don't know how to think independently. They just read, learn, that's it. Okay? And when they teach people in media, like in television or news articles, they just regurgitate what they have learned. They're not creative, original thinkers. Okay, he, but here in humanology, we want you to learn how to be an independent thinker, okay? Uh, creativity. We emphasize that, okay? So, right. have some backbone. Yes, be a minority thinker. Be unique. And do not join the majority mainstream, okay? Because sometimes they are right, but many, many, many times they are wrong. Like, look at gay marriage. Tattoo piercing. 
ultra interracialism they are wrong all right those ideologies mainstream majoritarian ideology in 2020 in america they're all unsound ideologies or well, you have angelina jolie miss angelina jolie she got rid of she got some mammogram testing and then she got rid of her breasts and then she reattached some plastic breasts what is that about not very smart right <laughs> psychos okay so and many women they do what she did bad role model that's angelina jolie okay so unfortunate <sighs> Mammogram, can, breast cancer test, you should not do it, okay? Why? Do diet and exercise instead. And then, even if there's, at one point of time, there's cancer, it will just go away. Okay, so medical testing, I, I'm not a huge fan, all right? Because sometimes testing and surgery is necessary, sometimes. But many times, they're overdoing it. Why? Because it may just go away. As long as you do diet and exercise, uh, you'll be fine. Okay? So, yeah. We have cancer repairing mechanism built in our cells. Okay? And learn biology. Okay? Then you'll understand what I'm saying. Okay? Anti-cancer mechanism, just DNA repair mechanism. Yeah, it's multi-layered mechanism. Okay? You know, molecular level. Okay, so go on. Okay, uh. all right, all right. So yeah, uh, let's review. All right, for the pure composites. All right. So how how many ways to express thirty? Uh, We came up with a formula yesterday, all right, so... Yeah, it's not quite complete a formula. Okay. All right. Okay. We continue with this. Okay. So. So interesting problem. So we are only deal with pure composites for now, okay? Pure composites. And we need to increase this number to see the pattern more clearly. Alright, so Uh, so how many ways can we express 210 in terms of multiplication of two numbers? All right. Two times three, five, seven. All right. That's one way. Now, three times two, five, seven. Okay. Five times two, three, seven. And then seven times two, three, five. Okay. And
Oops. So I now I remember the that Harvard Law School professor's name, yeah, Lawrence Tribe. Okay, so he uh, was a judicial clerk in California Supreme Court back in the days, and uh, he wrote an appendix. It was kind of like mathematical analysis, and then but he cheated in there, and I quoted. I wrote that in my book, and because I kind of reverse engineered what he did, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think he, he made an honest error there. I, th I think he did cheat, okay, to get the desired result. He was quite smart, okay, but yeah, uh, I think he, the level of mathematics that he know because he knew because he's a mathematics major in Harvard, yeah. It cannot possibly be an honest error. I'm pretty sure that he knew what he did was just wrong. Okay. Yeah. Because it was obvious error. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe he didn't know. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Finally, you have one times. Okay. Right. We'll take five minutes, bro. Okay. And then uh, we'll restart doing this because what we did yesterday, it wasn't quite complete. Yeah. I was too drunk. Okay. So, all right. We'll redo this. Okay. All right. Let's take five minutes.
Okay. So, yeah, we'll talk about this Professor Lawrence Tribes uh, appendix, very famous appendix to this uh, California Supreme Court opinion. All right, I learned that uh, in evidence class in law school, okay, about that case because that's very, very famous case, okay. So what, let's talk about that a little bit, okay. We'll get back to this, all right. So uh, it was a criminal case and the witness said it was an African-American gentleman and Caucasian American, European American, okay, female together. I think they stole something, okay, so, and they got caught, all right? So the prosecutor in California, I think it was Los Angeles, okay, probably like city level or county level prosecutor district attorney, right? Uh, he came up with very brilliant argument. It was a very mathematical argument, actually. Not quite legal, but he used probability. And I think that was a very good idea, actually, okay? It's because everything is about probability, and he just made it explicit. So I liked his legal argument, okay? But Mr. Lawrence Tribe, this judicial clerk, right? I guess he felt challenged because he, oh, I'm mathematics major from Harvard, judicial clerk for California Supreme Court Justice. So he came up with his own theory to defeat that argument of the prosecutor, okay? And, uh, but I found some error in his mathematics. I kind of reverse engineer, engineer what he did and I traced down where he erred and he did make an error and uh, my impression he that error was intentional. He fought some numbers simply put okay and in order to derive the desired result. <laughs> Uh, we explore that later, I mean, if we have time, but, uh, but I, I did write that in my book, in my, one of my books, okay. Uh, we can do it again, I mean, it could have been buried in 200 looks to episodes, maybe we already did it, the unpublished math lost episodes, 200 episodes, where I have it in my hard disk, but my mouth was too dirty, so I couldn't upload it, because Google YouTube, they said, if you're in doubt, don't upload it, so I follow their guidance. What can I do? It was good advice, though. I appreciate the advices. I do. They're doing fine job, Google YouTube, okay? Censorship, well, sometimes it's the right thing to do, okay? Yeah, so, but not always. The good censorship and bad censorship, okay? Yeah, so. All right, so let's count them up, okay? So, so this isn't, uh, this isn't exactly combinatorics, okay? Uh, I mean, combination, not exactly. I mean, yeah, here, you, out of four, you pick one, right? So, four is one, but here, it's not exactly that. It is not four is two. Okay, so. Okay. It's combinatorics problem, maybe high school level, but it's been a while, so let me try to do this. How many ways are there to express 
a composite number or any number, okay, uh, when it has distinct prime factors, okay, so it's combinatorial problem, counting. Oh boy. Excuse me. So we are counting how many ways are there in, uh, to express 210 in terms of product of two numbers. Okay. Later on, we'll generalize further. How many ways are there to express this number in terms of product of three numbers, four numbers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So... Yeah, we're going to exclude one, all right? Why? There is no need. Okay, so. That's overly complex, okay? So, I mean, you can put one here. Ah, forget it, all right? We exclude one, okay? For simplicity, all right? We will throw, throw back in one uh, when we need it. All right, but for now, let's not think about that. Okay, let's go ahead to the three. So there's product of two numbers, product of three numbers. Uh, Systematic enumeration, ordering matters, okay, so.
Okay. Hmm. -hmm. And finally, <clears throat> okay. So, do you understand what I'm doing? No, it's too easy, right? So, yeah. Okay. For completeness, okay. To express Two ten in terms of product of only one number is two ten itself. So that's like uh, okay. To express a product of uh, four numbers is that okay? So uh, yeah. So, yeah, it is combination, kinda, kinda, yeah, uh, because actually, uh, This guy is more like 4C0, right? This guy is like a 4C4. This guy is like a 4C2. But the second one, that's the difficult part, all right? So, yeah, we need to think about that, okay? So, it's not a very obvious problem, all right? It's a little bit surprising. All right, we're going to take five minutes, okay? So. We get to the bottom of this interesting problem. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me get some water, so.
forgot to grab my jacket. Okay. Am I going too fast? I'm not. Uh, let me grab my water. I mean, I take frequent breaks, right? I mean, I don't explain in detail because I don't have time. Okay, but this problem is not that obvious, but is easy problem okay it's a combinatorics counting we just need to think about it okay so we are going very slow actually because i am slow okay so it's just high school middle school mathematics counting combinatorics okay very elementary uh but still it's not that obvious right so i mean i could have let's do it all right i'll do it for you okay Parenthesis, okay? Look at me doing this all this for you. Okay? How many ways are there to express number 210? as product of one number, two numbers, three numbers, four numbers. Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay. You get you get it now? <laughs> Sometimes I'm too nice. Okay? For example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ways to express 210 in terms of two numbers, product of two numbers. Like two times what? 42? I, I don't know. 105. Yeah. Two times 105 and three times 70 blah 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 okay so there are seven ways to express 
to 10 in terms of product of two numbers, I think, if I didn't make a mistake. So, yeah, this is a tricky one, okay? So. The fourth row is easy enough, right? Yeah, it's... So, uh... 4C1 plus something. The second row, okay? So... Four C three is missing. Is it four C three? No, it's not. Ah, oh. oh, boy. It's more like 3C1, right? Because 2, 3, 2, 5, and 2, 7, okay? 3 is common denominator, so we're picking 3, 7, I mean 3, 5, and 7, okay? Out of 3, 5, 7, just pick 1. So, uh, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're kind of trying to approach Goldbach's conjecture problem in combinatorics way because uh, it turns out that uh, it has to do with counting problem. Okay, so how, how many ways are there to express an even integer in terms of uh, addition of two primes, right? Goldbach's conjecture says there's at least one way. And we want to find out exact formula for it. Combinatorics, counting problem. And it seems uh, there are at least two ways. And the number of ways to express an even integer in terms of addition of two primes, uh, it tends to increase. We want to find exact formula for it. Okay, so, we, so what we're gonna prove, what we aim to prove is something stronger than Goldbach's conjecture. Okay? Yeah. That function that we want to define, I mean, we defined it, but we want to find closed form formula for it, okay? Uh, we call it uh, Goldbach counting function. Given an even integer, how many ways are there to express that even integer as summation of two primes? Okay, we'll call it Goldbach counting function. Okay, so that's the definition. And uh, we want to find closed form formula for it. Okay, and uh, we are approaching it in combinatorics way. Okay, count because it's a counting problem. Okay, and because this is easier problem, we'll do this first and we'll get back to Goldbach's conjecture problem. Okay. Because all our previous methods, it failed. They all failed. Okay, so so we are taking a different approach now. All right. So. Okay.
this shouldn't be difficult at all. Okay, it's just counting problem. Uh, okay. We're gonna need another whiteboard, okay? Let's add 11, all right? Because to see a pattern, we have to make more examples, legwork, all right? So, okay. Let's go ahead and grab out the whiteboard and Let's grab this gentleman right here. It's like suit and tie kind of. Ugh. 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 All these failed attempts, right? If we work so hard, but. Didn't quite work. Oh well. We have time, so we could try. Trying to rhyme. <laughs> All right. I like it when it rhymes. Okay. Right? This dart chip pen really uh, Come on. Just one number, right? Second. Systematic enumeration method. Okay.
Ya. What else? Oops, it's not comma. It's like middle dot. Again. <laughs> Confusing comma with middle dot. Middle dot multiplication, okay. Comma, delimiter, separator. Uh, That's that. It's a nice triangle, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like this pyramid number theory, which is very important in human analogical mathematics, all right? Because pyramid number theory, you know, I tried to upload that in Wikipedia, they rejected it, okay? Because they say, I mean, some of them are mean and some of them are nice. They say, oh, we don't accept original articles. Go knock on the door of these mathematics journals. That's what they said, okay? So peer reviewed article, whatever. Yeah, fine, whatever. Yeah, some of them are very nice, okay. Others, mean, so mean. This Wikipedia editors, some of them are nice, and others, oh, they're so mean. They accuse me of vandalizing Wikipedia, right? What? And I try to share the knowledge, discovery that I found with the rest of the world. I guess it was the wrong venue. And yeah, they're kind of right, okay, right to do that though, because they only accept established theory because Wikipedia is like encyclopedia, you know? They're way up there, okay? So, me, bottom of this food chain. Yeah. Yeah, Wikipedia, yeah, I like it a lot. They're cool, okay? So. Okay, now. Uh, okay, okay. So, prime factorization of 20, 2310, that's, it contains five primes, right? Five distinct primes. So we are only dealing with uh, pure composites, okay? Where, when you do prime factorization, uh, Primes that don't repeat itself, okay? So that's pure composite. It doesn't have to be in order like this. You can have three times, two times, three times, 11. That's also pure composite, okay? But we are just doing it in order to make it easier, okay? Keep the number small, all right? So. All right. So we have five primes, right? And five is equal to one plus four and two plus three. So it's like kind of like this partition function problem, okay? There's no known formula, closed form formula for partition function, okay? So uh, in 200 lost episodes, we did study that. Because we tried to come up with closed form formula for partition function, okay? So 
And let's take five minutes break, okay? So, and I stop and restart because I don't want to lose this footage, all right? Because computer or software, they can crash, okay? So I'll see you in 10 minutes, okay? So.